डियर लिस्नर वेलकम टू माय चैनल मेन टॉपिक ऑफ द वीडियो इज क्वेरी एंड क्वेरी ऑपरेशन इन इन्फॉर्मेशन रिट्रीवर एंड सब टॉपिक इज यूजर रिलेवेंस फीडबैक अंडर यूजर रिलेवेंस फीडबैक टर्म रिवेटिंग इन द प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल इज कवर्ड विथ थेरी एंड एक्सरसाइज नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट अंडर यूजर रिलेवेंस फीडबैक फोर टॉपिक्स आर देयर क्वेरी एक्सपांशन एंड टर्म रिवेटिंग इन द वेक्टर स्पेस मॉडल टर्म रिवेटिंग इन द प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल वेरियंट्स ऑफ द प्रोबेबलिस्टिक टर्म रिवेटिंग एंड इवेल्युएशन ऑफ रिवेल्वे रिलेवेंस फीडबैक स्ट्रैटेजीज नाउ दिस वीडियो इज ऑन द टॉपिक टर्म रिवेटिंग इन द प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल प्रीवियसली आई ऑलरेडी पब्लिश द वीडियो ऑन वेरी एक्सपांशन एंड टर्म रिवेटिंग इन द वेक्टर स्पेस मॉडल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल फॉर टर्म रिवेटिंग relevance feedback with user relevance information one of the most commonly used strategies for query reformulation method document assessment user receives a list of documents retrieved by the initial query relevance marking the user identifies and marks the document that are relevant typically user examines the top 10 to 20 ranked documents that is feedback is given by the user incremental improvement important terms are selected from the documents marked as relevant by the user enhanced query the importance of the selected terms is increased in new query the goal of this strategy is to refine the query in a way that it moves closer to the retrieving relevant documents and away from the non relevant ones two basic techniques are there query expansion and term reweighting query expansion add the new terms from the relevant documents and term reweighting modify the term weights based on the user relevance judgment now this method that probabilistic model is only doing the term reweighting not query expansion advantage of query query expansion and term reweighting are shields the user from detail of query reformulation process search broken down into sequence of small steps and it is a control process that is emphasis on some terms from the relevant documents and de emphasis on the other terms from the non relevant documents term reweighting in the probabilistic model basic idea the probabilistic model dynamically rank documents similar to the query according to the probabilistic ranking principle given a user query there is a ideal answer set for this query but we don't know this ideal answer set ideal answer set and we have to find out this ideal answer set in a iteration querying is seen as specification of the properties of this ideal answer set but what are these properties an initial set of documents is retrieved somehow the user inspect these documents looking for the relevant ones then ir system uses this information to re- to refine the description of the ideal answer set by repeating this process it is expected that description of the ideal set answer set will improve and which will give the answer for our query the probabilistic model according to the probabilistic ranking principle probability of ki given r is the probability of observing the term ki in the set of relevant documents where ki is nothing but the keyword ki probability of ki given r dash the probability of observing the term ki in the set of non relevant document the similarity of document dj to query q in the probabilistic model can be expressed as we are finding out the similarity between the documents and the query is nothing but summation 1 to t as t keywords are there in the query wiq and wij it means that it is a binary model these weights wiq and wij are the binary weights that means that that particular terms should be present in the query as well as in the documents even if it is present for one one of the answer is zero so total answer is zero so both that particular keyword should be present in the document as well as in the query simultaneously then formula is log of probability of ki given r divided by 1 minus probability ki given r plus log of 1 minus probability of ki given r dash divided by probability of ki given r dash when we see this formula this formula is depends on two concept that is the conditional probability and the log of odds it tries to estimate the probability that document will relevant to user query initially the probability of ki given r and probability of ki given r dash are unknown different methods are there to estimate these probabilities 
with user feedback information this probabilities are estimated in slightly different way so there are two ways to gauge this probability for the initial search and for the feedback search for the initial search when there are no retrieved documents yet assumption often made include that make probability of ki given r is 0.5 for all keywords and the top probability for ki given r dash can be approximated by the distribution in the whole collection so therefore probability of ki given r is equal to 0.5 and probability of ki given r dash is equal to n by n where n is total number of documents in the collection and n i is nothing but the number of documents which contains the term ki where ki is nothing but the particular keyword similarity of document dj to query q can be expressed by this equation now here wiq and wij are binary in nature either present or absent so this terms should be present to get this answer otherwise our answer is zero so that particular keyword should be present in the query as well as in the document for the initial search we are taking the probability as 0.5 and ni by n now we put the values of this probabilities into this equation to get the modified equation we are putting the value of this with rele relevant and with respect to non relevant and we are just putting the value and after simplification of the equation we are getting the final answer as summation 1 to t wiq wij into log of capital n minus ni divided by ni so these steps are very simple we require to just the put the value and solve the equation so this is the final equation we are getting for the first time for feedback search uh, that is once this results are displayed according to similarity for ranking purpose and based on that user select uh, some documents are relevant and some documents are non relevant based on that again similarity is calculated but for the second time we are using this values for the probabilities for relevant with respect to and with respect to irrelevant that is nothing but dri divided by dr that is nothing but the document relevant and this is nothing but the number of keywords that present in the relevant documents and for irrelevant we are just subtracting this from ni and this is from n so dr n is nothing but total number of documents and dr is nothing but the relevant documents so n minus dr is equal to uh, irrelevant documents and this ni is nothing but that particular keyword present in all entire collection minus that particular keyword present in the relevant document so we are using this formula so we are putting this this is our original formula of the probabilistic model and we are just putting the value of again probability of ki given r and probability of ki given r dash after simplification of this equation we are getting this final equation and this equation is used for the feedback search and for the first time we are using this type of equation so this is our final equation compared to vector space model no query expansion occur here no new terms gets added in the original query the same query terms are being reweighted using the feedback information provided by user now as we know already from the information modeling that values sometimes may be zero so at that time that the entire answer is zero so we are using the smoothing factor or adjustment factor because of dr and dri are certain small takes 0.5 adjustment factor added to this equation so to avoid the zero answer or divide by zero we are adding this 0.5 in the numerator and in the denominator we are adding the one factor and similarly we can do the adjustment in terms of ni divided by n so we can do the adjustment in the numerator instead of 0.5 we can write down ni by n so this is just adjustment and when we implement it is very easy uh, to do this adjustment now we will solve the simple problem now here seven documents are there and three keywords are there and this is nothing but number of occurrences they present now if we see this term reweighting in the probabilistic model it is not checking that how many how many times it appears or it is not taking the tf and idf into the consideration it is just taking into the consideration that particular term is present or absent now here our query is 111 means all keywords are present for one time in query so this is our query now first we require to 
make initial retrieval so before user rank the documents so for the initial retrieval we are using this formula now k1 k2 k3 terms are there now this is nothing but as all the terms are present in query so this l value is going to be continuously one but this will come for this k2 term it will zero for k2 k3 it will become zero so we require to take only summation with respect to k1 terms so in this way we require to do the calculation first we will do this intermediate calculation that is nothing but log of n minus n i divided by n i now total number of documents are seven and here that this particular keyword that is k1 is present for five times seven minus five divided by five this keyword is present for three times and this keyword is present for four times so we are doing intermediate calculation and this value is calculated for all keywords now for document d1 we require to find out the similarity so when we took uh, or when we calculate the similarity with respect to query in query all terms are present but in documents this k2 term is absent so we require to take the summation when i is equal to 1 and when i is equal to 3 that is for the first keyword and second keyword now the detailed calculation is shown here this is our entire formula we already calculated this intermediate value for all keywords and now for document d1 we require to add the first term and the third term for the document d2 we are adding the first term so in this way we are adding the values and we are getting this final answer now we consider the similarity zero as the maximum similarity and the answer deviates either in positive direction or negative direction but we are taking the maximum similarity at zero level so when we check this at that time we can find out that this is at the rank one that that in our collection d1 to d7 documents are there but when the computer ranks for the first time after user given the query this d3 will comes at the first because this document having the rank one then because the distance is zero after this is zero minus point twelve is there then point twenty seven is there point forty point forty we can keep any rank four five or five four then point forty six and point fifty two so on the point forty two three documents are there so based on the our algorithm implementation they will come to the particular rank but for rank one two three it comes in a proper order so this is the way so these are our original document d1 to d7 but when computer display for the first time after calculating the similarity with documents it will display d3 as the first document then d7 d6 d2 d4 d5 d1 so in this way documents get displayed now here we can observe that in d5 actually all key terms are present but it is coming on the rank 6th but after the feedback search or after giving the feedback by the user so it may click this document as relevant or relevant but by taking the information from the uh, user click or user click data it will change the rank now out of this documents retired now for example if we make the assumption that user click on the sum of the documents and user click uh, user did a click on some of the documents so here we are taking all that seven into the collection so user click on the four documents and this document d5 is actually relevant but user didn't click so it comes under the non relevant documents so user clicks on four documents which is relevant and uh, three documents are not clicked by the user so they comes under the category of irrelevant documents now we require to apply the values for probability of ki given r and probability of ki ki given r dash according to our feedback search so we are applying this method now so for this also this is a binary and we require to first calculate this intermediate calculation so during the calculation of intermediate value some of the values are coming zero that's why one smoothing factor is added for example i will explain for the first term k1 in relevant documents how many times that keyword is present so these are the relevant documents so two times present dr minus dri so in four uh, relevant documents are there and minus 2 is 2 then ni minus dr by that is in entire collection this k1 keyword is present for five times 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव माइनस इट इज प्रेजेंट फॉर डी आर आई एन मीन्स वॉट इन द रिलेवेंट डॉक्यूमेंट इट इज प्रेजेंट फॉर टू टाइम्स सो फाइव माइनस टू इज थ्री एंड नाउ दिस इज एन दिस इज फोर एंड इन दिस वे वी आर डूइंग द कैलकुलेशन सो हियर आंसर इज कमिंग जीरो सो फॉर द स्मूथिंग पर्पज द वन इज एडेड टू द फाइनल आंसर नेक्स्ट फॉर के टू दैट इन रिलेवेंट डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज प्रेजेंट फॉर टू टाइम्स टोटल फोर डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर देर फोर माइनस टू इज टू टोटल इन द के टू प्रेजेंट इन ऑल सेवन डॉक्यूमेंट्स फॉर द फोर टाइम थ्री टाइम्स वन टू थ्री सो थ्री माइनस टू इज वन सो इन दिस वे वी आर डूइंग द कैलकुलेशन एंड वंस वी नो ऑल दिस वैल्यू वी जस्ट रिक्वायर टू मेक द एडिशन ऑफ द इन द समेशन ऑपरेशन सो इन दिस वे वी आर डूइंग फॉर द फीडबैक सो हियर यू विल कम टू नो दैट स्मूथिंग फैक्टर इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट्स दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मुले वेन वी आर डूइंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन बिकॉज द चांसेस ऑफ जीरोज और डिवाइड बाई जीरो और ओवर फ्लो ऑकर्स दैट्स वाई वी आर मेकिंग दिस स्मूथिंग ऑपरेशन सो हियर फॉर सिम्प्लिसिटी आई एम जस्ट एडिंग द वन प्लस टू आवर द डिवाइड बाई जीरो एंसर नाउ वेन वी एड दिस सेम लाइक अवर इनिशियल सर्च वी आर गेटिंग दिस now if we check that now here we are not checking the minimum distance but we are checking the maximum distance because here we are apply the concept of reweighting now here we can find out that this fifth document which contains all keywords having the maximum value so it comes on the rank one so we require to do exactly opposite in the initial search and in the feedback search now it comes on the rank one after that next greater value is 3.02 it will come on the rank 2 if we observe these documents we will find out that the query terms most match with our document terms the documents comes to the at the initial level so d5 comes then d3 then d1 d6 and after that all these three documents having only key, one keyword matching so they are coming at the downward side so next time what will happen that for this uh, search you will find out that for this keyword rating comes higher and this document comes to the top level so probability that user selecting or user clicking on this documents is more and after this even we are seeing only for the seven documents but actually in the entire collection lot of documents are there so documents get shifted for the uh, initial ranking and in this way the user is more close to the relevant document set so this is not the one time process this is a multiple times process and every time user is clicking on the relevant documents and after that the relevant documents in the collection comes to the upper level for the ranking purpose and user gets more and more relevant information for that particular query so this is the adjustment factor so here uh, it is very difficult to solve the problem manually entirely so only this particular portion is shown that we can add this adjustment factor and we can do the calculation so when we add the adjustment factor at that time the calculation does not come zero or it is adjusted with that particular factor so we can use either in terms of 0.5 or either we can use in terms of ni by capital b capital n so this is the way in which we can do the adjustment factor for the feedback search advantage the feedback process directly leads to the calculation of new weights for query terms term reweighting works well when we assume that terms are independent and we use binary indexing disadvantage this approach doesn't consider the weights of the terms in the documents that's why the tf and idf is not considered only presence of the keyword is considered it ignores the term weight from the previous query formulation it doesn't employ the query expansion in this method query expansion does not happens only reweighting happens it repeatedly reweights the same set of index terms in the original query so that is the problem because no no new terms gets added so it is only doing the reweighting for the initial query terms so that's why the initial query should be powerful otherwise it does not gives that much uh, success for the method so this is nothing but the probabilistic reweighting in the probabilistic model for user relevance feedback thank you